Hello, you're welcome to Inspiration Time with NCB. It's another beautiful day. It is the day that the Lord has made. He said we should rejoice and be glad in it. Tonight, I declare season of unlimited blessing upon you. I decree and declare that it shall be well with you. That the Lord will crown your year with his goodness and mercy and favor with abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and declare into your life that even in time of famine, that you shall enjoy plenty in the name of Jesus. You will not lack any good thing. Abundance shall be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. So, today I'm going to talk about um, season of unlimited blessings. I'm going to talk a story of about um, Jacob. Jacob, when he wrestled with an angel. You can find that in Genesis 32 from 22. He said, during the night, Jacob got up and took his two wives, his female slaves, and his 11 sons, and crossed the ford of Jackboard. He took them and sent them across the stream, along with all his possessions. 24. Joseph, Jacob was left behind, and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. When the man saw that he could not defeat him, he struck Jacob's hip socket as a, as a wrestle and dislocated his hip. Then he said to Jacob, let me go for it is daybreak. Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Then the man asked, what is your name? The man asked. Jacob replied, your name will, uh, Jacob, 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 he replied, your name will no longer be Jacob, he said, it will be Israel because you have struggled with God and with men and you have prevailed. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? That Jacob fought with God and with man and that he has prevailed. Because of this single encounter, the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with men, and you have overcome. Praise God. Sometimes God will change your name, you know, because of the blessing that he's going to bless you. Sometimes God will change the names of a servant where he saved them from desperation into purpose. And that's how God is going to change your name today because you are desperate or you are in desperation. He will change your desperation to purpose. You know from the Bible that Peter's name was changed from Simon, which is unstable, to Peter the rock. Saul's name was changed from Saul the destroyer to Paul the worker. Abraham's name was changed from Abraham, a noble father, to Abraham, the father of many. Sarah's name was also changed from Sarai, lady of Chorazon, because she was a Chorazon woman, I wish she was Sarai, to Sarah, the princess of princesses, a source of nation and kings. One of the greatest gifts we have in Christ Jesus is the gift of new beginning, praise God. And this month of August is the month of new beginning, praise God. In Christ, there is always an opportunity to make a fresh start, to admit our mistakes and move on to, to new things. And that's how you're going to move from your old ways to your new ways from today in the mighty name of Jesus. The moment you admit to your own pain, there will be healing. The moment you realize that you have a problem, that's the beginning of solution. So stop hiding, stop, stop being in denial. So you have to admit your weaknesses to be strengthened. If you do not admit that you have a strength, you have weakness, there is no way you'll be strengthened. Do you understand what I'm saying? Jacob was true to his name. He did not deceive this, uh, his, this angel. He said, what is your name? He said, my name is Jacob, and which means supplanter, a deceiver. That was the name of uh, Jacob. And the moment 
he came out and said the truth. What happened? This, he was blessed. You remember that Jacob also, he deceived his brother out of his own birthright. And the blessing that was supposed to be for his brother, and he ended up reaping deception and treasury from his own father-in-law. You know, the law of karma is very, very real. Do unto others what you want them to do unto you. And because of that thing that he did to his brother, by taking, by, uh, by taking his uh, birthright, what happened? His own father-in-law, you know, deceived him. And, you know, he worked, instead of seven years for the wife he was supposed to get, he, he worked for 14 years. In fact, he was with uh, Laban for 20 years. 20 good years he was with Laban. And Laban didn't want him to go. He wanted him to labor and labor just because of what he has done to his brother. But thank God that God is a God or is a God of mercy, a God of second chance. Uh, God gave him a new name and a new identity for a new season of unlimited blessing. And that's how God is going to give you a new name today, a new identity for the new season that is coming your way. Just believe. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. God that, had did, that did that of Jacob, you know, he's going to do yours. The Lord that answers Sarah at her old age when her body was, you know, no, nothing to be right home about. And God gave her strength to be able to carry baby when she was over 19 years old. The, that same God is still today. We still serve the same God of yesterday, today, and forevermore. He will answer your prayer in Jesus' name. You know, from Jacob came the 12 tribes of Israel. And Jesus Christ, the Messiah and the Savior of the world, came through Jacob's lineage. Can you believe that? So don't write yourself up. Don't think that God has forgotten about you. He hasn't. He's preparing the best for you. God is a God of another chance. And he's only a prayer away from you. He's only a prayer away for your new season of unlimited blessing. Believe me. Believe me, he is. Our God is a God of second chance. He's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And I decree today, Nanimuja, as you step into your new season of unlimited blessing, you will never, never, never go back again. You will be prosperous. You will be great. You will be, pro uh, you, you will be productive. The hand of the Lord will be upon you. I decree and declare you will not fail. You will not fall. You will not falter. I decree and declare that the Lord God Almighty will open your eyes to see great things, to see opportunities around you. Because there are a lot of opportunities around you. Sometimes we just leave what we have and looking all, all up to something else. God told Moses, said, what is in your hand? That rod in your hand is full of miracle. And then, oh, the Bible also made me to understand that he will bless the work of your hands. What is that in your hand? Go and see what God has given to you. See what that particular thing that you are full of great things. You know, there is greatness uh, that is trapped up in you. Go, check and ask God, what is it that you have given to me that I need to work on to become who you have, you know, <clears throat> you have um, ordained me to be. He said you are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus, you know, so that you'll be able to walk, I'm paraphrasing now, in the, fun, in the things that he has, you know, prepared for you beforehand. God has prepared your own pathway for you beforehand. And because he is the potter, you are the clay, God will remold you. He has prepared all the way for you, you know. So don't miss that opportunity. Be still and know that God is still in the business of answering prayer. All right. I just want to um, declare this prayer upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, then you say this after me. Say, just thank God for, for a beautiful and a blessed day. Just declare that the Lord has said um, himself before you. Because he's at your right hand, you will not be moved from any circumstances of any trouble. I declare that I shall not remember the former things or consider things of old. God shall do a new thing in my life and shall spring forth for the world to see. And I will glorify the Lord God Almighty. Declare that I declare that I shall grow in status and the wisdom of God. I declare and declare that is my season of good results in Jesus' name. I declare, O oh Lord, that there are portions of my inheritance and my cup will begin to overflow with favor, grace, and blessing in the name of Jesus. I declare and declare that the Lord shall maintain my lot. 
and he will not allow the rod of the wicked to rest upon me in Jesus name I decree and declare that you shall crown my year with your goodness and my pathway shall drip with abundance declare it say after me I decree and declare that the Lord is at my right hand I shall not move I decree and declare that the right hand of God is exalted in my life his right hand will do valiantly in my life and his right hand is exalted over every situation of my life I declare divine opportunities are coming my way I declare an explosion of God's goodness and a sudden widespread increase in every area of my life say this after me I declare an elevation to a level higher than I ever thought of in the name of Jesus I declare total restoration and healing into every area of my life and I declare that all my stolen benefits be restored back to me today declare this after me I declare God is bringing about new season of growth new season new breakthrough new elevation new heights I'm gaining every day declare it say it keep saying it keep saying it that the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me lie down in great pastures. he leads me beside the still water he restores my soul he leads me in a path of righteousness for his name's sake yea even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death I fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff you comfort me for you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy you anointed my hair with oil my cup overflows surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever as you have declared it so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus I cover your declaration with the blood of Jesus please subscribe like share and subscribe to my youtube channel if you are a first um, comma please i appreciate you you know and the repeated you know people that keep repeating and coming over and over i really appreciate you thank you for your love please share this to people out there so they'll be able to declare this and for them to know that there is always a season of unlimited blessing the lord that did that of jacob the lord that did that of abraham the lord that did that of peter Peter was a very timid man. God, Jesus Christ turned him to a, a, a bold person. Paul was a persecutor. He was a killer. God used him mightily in his kingdom. God is a God of second chance. He's going to use you again. Believe me. Honestly, you'll come and testify. You'll call me, Minister Carol. This is what the Lord's doing. But I'm just encouraging you. Don't lose hope. Don't you dare lose hope. Believe in the Lord God Almighty. He is there. He is with you. He said he will never leave you nor forsake you. He is your Alpha and Omega. He is your creator. He is the creator of heaven and earth. He is your shield. He is your buckler. He is your defender. He is your very present help in time of trouble. When you are, um, when you are kind of um, feeling sad, just play music. Go on YouTube. Find music to play. You know, and when you see, keep playing and playing and playing, the Bible said, the faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You keep listening and playing. Believe me, it will lift up your spirit because God inhabits in the praises of his people. The Lord will inhabit in your praises today. We accept your praises. We accept your prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that your prayer will go up to God as a sweet smelling incense, sweet smelling aroma, and the request will be granted. The prayer will come, the request and the answers to your request will come back to you speedily. I declare this is your season of breakthrough. This is your season of limited blessing. You will not miss it. You will not miss out of that blessing that God has prepared for you. Nothing will stop you from receiving it this year. Because this August is the month of new beginning. New beginning. I declare newness, new beginning to your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Your life will never remain the same again. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. This is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our sight. Take care. Remain blessed. Be calm. Don't be afraid, for God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of sound mind. Declare, I have a sound mind. I have the mind of Christ. 
I have sound mind. I have the mind of Christ. Keep saying it. Keep saying it day in, day out. Believe me, you'll, you'll get your breakthrough. Thank you very much. Take care. Share this video. Like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye. Hello, you're welcome to Inspiration Time with MCB. It's another beautiful day. I just want to say thank you, Lord, for keeping us alive, for counting us worthy to be among the living today. It's, you know, it's a beautiful day. I'm just most grateful to my Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, I praise. This morning, I have come to meet you, dear viewers, my fans and followers. Uh, thank you very much for <laughs> for being um, consistently, you know, following me for the past few months that I've started this YouTube channel. Um, I really appreciate you. And if you are a new person or you just, you know, come across this video, please subscribe to my video, share to other and let them, you know, um, learn from what I am doing, please. And um, from that, you know, everybody will be blessed in Jesus' name. Today, or actually, okay, today, I want to start 21 days detox. I want to detox my system. I told you last time that my belly was becoming too big and I was becoming un um, very uncomfortable with it. If you check one of the videos that I did that I call Miracle Juice, it's really good. You know, my belly is down now. I don't feel that, I don't feel too bloated anymore. When I started that juice, you know, it's really helped me. It detox my system. I feel better now. You know, I, all the pain is actually gone. I'm telling the truth. I like to use myself as a guinea pig. And that's why I've started this 21st detox. You know, well-being is everything. And there, uh, there's a saying that says, worth is, um, health is worth. Health is worth. So today, I'm going for a 21-day journey. And I want you to go with me, come along with me. So this morning, I'm just going to do um, a plain juice. Okay? I have here a grapefruit. I have, a, I have here... Apple. I'm supposed to use red apple, but I haven't got red apple, so I'm going to use this one. I have lemon with me. I have um, radish. It's called radish. Radishes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use three of that. I have ginger. I peel it. I have half cucumber. I have two stalks of celery with me you know this is the miracle juice i told you about so i'm just going to mix it up with it so what am i going to do today i'm just going to blend it up and then i'll show you the finished product and why am i using grapefruit grapefruit to maintain a healthy health and for blood pressure is very good this grapefruit you know and lemon as we know is anti -para uh, uh, parasitic um lemon is anti-parasitic, you know, it clears away all the parasites in your belly, the bacteria, alkaline, is a cleanser, it cleanses your system, and the reddish also, it purifies your blood, it cleanses your liver and your stomach, this is what I want, you know, it cleanses your liver and your stomach, the apple, we know, they say, an apple a day drive, they, takes you away from the doctor, you know, it cleanses your colon, it regulates your blood pressure, it lowers your cholesterol. Apple, that's why you see some people eat a lot of apple. And then what about celery? There's so many benefits in all these things that I'm going to drink this morning. Celery is rich in antioxidant and beneficial enzymes. There are a lot of it in there. Okay. And cucumber is stress relief. It's hydration because it's full of water and it gives you beautiful skin. It gives you beautiful skin. And then ginger, where is it? It's ginger, we know ginger is very powerful anti-inflammatory, good for arthritis. It smoothes your stomach. The pepper that is in there, it flushes out all those things. It's antibacterial and it's natural, you know, antibiotics. So I'm just going to mix them up, all, all up, and, you know, blend them. And then I'll show you how it looks. You can see I'm slicing them. I'm going to bring them into small, small pieces so that I'm able to blend it. Because if you don't, you know, slice it, you can blend it. Is that in your blender or in your fruit juice? You just have to blend it. All right. I've cut them into pieces. I'm going to put them in my blender and begin to, you know, this time I'm going to cut it. The apple.
take the seed out you can see that seed i'm going to take it out of it i throw it away oopsie that just dropped Woo! okay that's it that's the apple um grapefruit i'm going to just you know um use my hand to squeeze this one inside the juice after i have finished i don't want to blend it with it and that's the lime the lemon i'm just going to cut it and then i squeeze it inside the juice later i'm just going to do blend it up now i've just finished blending it so i'm just going to sift it now this is it there's a blended content um I'm just going to sift it from the, from here. I don't really like the smell, but I have no choice. Yeah, I have no choice. I told you I have sweet tooth. You know, I have been eating so much sweet for a very long time. So guess what is going to happen now? This is not sweet. And as time goes on, this will, you know, like they said, I'm going to lose my sweet bug. So let's see what's going to happen in the next 21 days. Please follow me. Just follow me. And you see what's going to happen. Okay. And of course, you lose weight at the end of it. That's my goal. My goal is to lose weight, to gain all the nutrients from this because I lack some vitamins. So by the time you take all these natural products, it detoxes you and then you get some infusion into your bloodstream. Right? When you cook all this thing, you lose all the nutrients in it. Okay, that's why you eat it natural. And of course, the Bible supports that we eat raw food, vegetable. When you eat vegetable, you have more nutrients and then you'll not be sick. All right. So let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Okay, this is it. What I'm going to do, and I'm going to squeeze the lemon into it. Just squeeze it into it. As a grapefruit, just gonna squeeze this grapefruit into the juice. Voila! Grapefruit is going into it. Grapefruit is going into it. I'm squeezing every bit of it, and even the fiber. There's a lot of fiber in it. I'm not gonna throw the fiber away. I'm just going to put it inside. You know, fiber is good for you. It's very good for you. I'm going to use a knife to kind of squeeze it. And then it's filling by the time you eat it. So, let's see. Oh, there's so much juice inside the grapefruit. Okay, here is, is that like a tap, tap, tap. From the water on top. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me. There's so much water I need, so I'm squeezing as every little, you know, water out of it. I've every little juice out of it. I'm going to make good use of it. Okay. And I might have to keep the other one for my skincare later because of the vitamin C at the back of grape okay 
I'm gonna keep all those ones later keep it in the fridge uh, it's almost finished now look at it I've mixed all the juices together you saw me just now when I was putting the grape and uh, the grape juice and the lemon I've stirred them all together everything that I blended together so I'm just gonna try it and see the taste and taste it voila that's it it's ready this is gonna be my breakfast okay mm. it's not really sweet at all it's not sweet at all so if you don't like things that are not sweet all you need to do is just to you know If you don't like things that are not sweet, what do you do? Add lemon and add honey to it. But I'm going to drink mine because I'm trying to kill my sweet uh, taste. Mm. Hopefully I get used to this. It's a bit peppery. It's a bit, I don't like the smell. Maybe it's a red, um, reddish. I've never eaten it before. It's my first time of eating that. So, I mean, you know, when you're trying something, you just try anything. Oh, my God. Hopefully, at the end of 21 days, you know, everything will be okay. And um, I would have lost weight and then get all my nutrients in my body. Like I told you, I'm very close to 60. So, I have to be careful of what I eat. I put it in my body now because health is worth. If you want to live long and you want to, you know, do great exploit you have to take care of your body and of course the bible said your body is the temple of the holy spirit the holy spirit dwells in us so you have to take care of this vessel where the holy spirit lives and when you do that then you'll be happier you'll be better you feel better you'll not be complaining all the time you know when you know your body, when you're not taking care of your body, what happened? You get tired, you, you're complaining, there's pain in all the joints. You know, we need to take care of ourselves, actually. Honestly, we do need to take care of ourselves. You know, if you buy a car, after some time, you take a care of a car for service. But we don't service our body. We don't go to see the doctor. We complain and complain and do self-medication. It's time for you to take care of yourself, okay? Please, we have one life try this again and see you in the afternoon